Tuesday 29th of September and I'm on my way to my job interview at Drummond and Etheridge and I am wearing, and it's hard to see, I'm wearing Ruby's school uniform. <laughs> Would have been nice to have my hair done but anyway, best I can do, wish me luck. Well interview over, I think I did alright. They gave me a picture of a motor and I had to fill all the parts out for it and I kind of did it all in front of him which was really cool. Phew! <laughs> Pass that test. Uh, it went quite well but the guy that had uh, uh, came in earlier before me, he's got egg parts experience so I don't know but it was uh, it was a good interview, it went well. They seemed very nice and uh, the lady's definitely, definitely keen for sure but it's not her I'll be working with. So. I don't know, we'll go back to Bromley tomorrow and uh, we'll see what happens. And I forgot to put deodorant on, so I hope I don't smell. So nervous. Uh, Wednesday, 30th of September. Uh, it's minus three degrees. It is six o'clock, but it's not. It's daylight savings, so it's seven o'clock in the morning. And I don't know if you can see on the, on the roof of the HQ, it's all icy. I got thermals on and double socks and I'm freezing and it's nearly October. Anyway, I had a good couple of days at home. Uh, still a little bit fluey but I'm much, much better. And I vacuumed my floor which was in dire need of vacuuming and I very much uh, appreciated it when I laid in bed and just looked at the floor because it was clean. Uh, some developments. Uh, so I've gone for this job which is kind of really exciting. I think it'd be a pretty cool job. And then now they've announced that there's a good chance that we can fly from Christchurch to Sydney and not have to quarantine. Like November, they're citing, so it might not be December. I've got those tickets in December, but if we can fly home and not quarantine, that would be pretty cool. And we could just make our way down to Melbourne and just potter around in the east coast until WA opens up because I'm kind of beyond asking and begging and pleading to get back into my own home state so I'm kind of not wanting to go down that road if, if I don't have to I don't want to ask so I hope I don't get the job now because I reckon we'll be going home in a couple of months and then my next thought is how much is it going to cost to get home because they're currently, uh, we paid $700 to get to Melbourne each and uh, you know I reckon it'd be a thousand bucks plus you know your, your luggage and stuff so I don't know we'll just have to wait and see on that one but it's interesting and they're talking about opening the borders on October 5th so Victorians don't have to quarantine in a hotel they can self-isolate self at home or wherever they can so things are changing which is pretty exciting. Uh, still leaves us a little bit in limbo. Still, you know, do I continue to stay or do I go or... I don't know, but uh, we'll see how we go. Anyway, for now, it's back to work in the dusty, dirty environment. So, I'm, I'm at work and I was driving along thinking, even if we don't have to quarantine, if we go into Sydney or even Melbourne, you know, as is the case, uh, we'll probably still have to self-isolate and we can't self-isolate because we don't have anywhere to self-isolate in Sydney and we can't really self-isolate in a car which is all we have in Melbourne so yeah I, I'm just gonna have to keep going to work service tomorrow at work which is pretty cool because that's the benefit of working uh, with cars uh, you can usually get stuff done on them uh, so I think it's going to cost a hundred bucks for you know fish the really cool guy the mechanic he is going to organize that for me tomorrow so I've just got all the stuff and uh, now it's back to work after lunch <laughs>